Uh, I'm, a, I'm a man that spends a lot of time at home with my dog. And uh, it's not just a normal dog. He's a, he's a Labradoodle cross with a Spoodle, which makes him an Oodle Poodle Doodle Dog. Oh, you're so cute. I'm going to poke your fucking eyes out. <laughs> I say some horrendously violent things to my dog, and he just looks at me and goes, oh, touch me, Dad. Um, not like that. This is comedy. I'm not preparing a defence here, OK? But my wife goes off to work and I spend a lot of time with the dog and uh, he's got floppy ears, so he likes his, his ear noogie. Ooh, noogie, 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 noogie. And then he rolls over and he wants me to wrestle his chest and then he tries to bite my hands. And then I accidentally touch him on the penis and he freezes. You guys too? But we head off to the park every morning and he kind of sniffs around and then goes to do a poo in about exactly the same spot. And he's kind of hunched over and he's looking very nervous. And I want to say to him, hey, hey, relax, Rupert. I'm the pack leader here. I'm the alpha male. Nobody's going to get you. And he's like, no, Dad, I can't relax. When I'm like this, there's no fight or flight. And I look at him and I think, we're kind of the same instinctively. We feel that same nervousness, especially if you have to go to the toilet in a foreign environment. Put yourself in the position of going to the toilet at the shopping centre, OK? Nobody wants to do that. But you've had your coffee and a donut and nature calls. <laughs> And you've got to go down that purple-hued corridor. <laughs> I don't know whether it actually discourages junkies, but it makes us all feel very unsafe. <laughs> then you walk into the toilet and there's always that guy washing his hands, staring at you in the mirror. <clears throat> <clears throat> He's obviously in the women's toilet as well. <laughs> and then you push the cubicle door open and there's something obscene written on one wall and smeared on the other. And you shut that door and you expect the worst, don't you? You expect to see an eye staring at you through a hole in the wall of somebody to push that door open. And just to illustrate our fear in that situation, if somebody tries that door while you're in there, you always refer to yourself in the third person. <laughs> There's somebody in here. <laughs> There's somebody in here. <laughs> like you've brought an entourage along with you. <laughs> and somebody's speaking on your behalf. <laughs> because you can't tell the truth if somebody tries that door, can you? You can't go, I'm doing a poo. <laughs> I'm frightened and confused. <laughs> I'm angry. I'm angry at myself. <laughs> My diet's all wrong. I should drink more water. I should eat more fruit. This isn't passing through me. <laughs> I went shopping at Myers. All of my clothing's been permeated with fecal flora. <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> Thanks very much. Have a great festival. See ya.